Hey lovely, this is Yulia Bado and I'm an abstract artist living in Seoul, South Korea. I've been drawing ever since I can hold a pencil, pretty much. Uh, this is one story my mom told me even before I could do that. Uh, she would read all these mom magazines and how to further creativity in your children. And when she was cleaning up the room, tidying, whatever, she would put me on the bed surrounded by newspaper. I was a baby toddler, I don't know able to sit up by myself and she would uh yeah let me have fun and rip apart the newspaper and make a big old mess because she read that in a magazine so <laughs> first and foremost my mom encouraged me to be creative and she bought me every colored pencil every pen i desired that was available and i also always had paper nearby uh, but later when I would go to school I would have sketchbooks so I could draw well let's say in the breaks but usually I would also draw on the margins of my study books or well you know I think the teachers thought I was taking notes I wasn't I was drawing a lot a really really a lot and I would also I'll go to every extracurricular activity that would be anything art related, painting related. Although I didn't go into painting in my high school time, I was more drawing and like um, people orientated. I wanted to learn how to draw portraits and the figure really well. And that changed when I created my portfolio for art school. So at that point, I got a, re that's like a disclaimer, I got rejected a lot. I got so many rejection letters and it hurt every single time. Um, but I really focused on only building my portfolio and getting better and going to dry life drawing classes. And I spent all the money I had at the art supply store. And I did that for so, so long and <laughs> the rejection letters kept coming and I just didn't give up. Don't ask me how. Um, so at some point I did start getting into the last rounds uh, before elimination and I still would get kicked out of the favorite school I wanted to go to. At my, uh, on my top school I made it to the last 20 people. I didn't make the cut to the last 10. And then the next school I applied for was outside of Berlin and I got in. And it was magical like the moment i saw the school it was like hogwarts it was an absolute magical wonderful place and i wanted to study there so i didn't even mind not getting into my top school so but the thing is i got accepted into an art school now something i've been working so so long towards and all my existence has been narrowed down to creating a, a portfolio that would get me into art school so now it was spring i got accepted and school would start in autumn and <laughs> i didn't know what to do with myself i didn't have a project anymore i didn't have a purpose anymore i had a couple of months to do whatever i wanted to do to fill my time and this one big thing this portfolio wasn't something i could pour all my hours and energy into anymore and money and but i still wanted to create so what i did is at this Point, I was following a couple of artists and they were like uh, writing blogs and doing online classes and I started experimenting with paint on canvas and paint on paper and I really got the shittiest paint because budget restrictions <laughs> I didn't have much money at this time and I would use an old library card or credit card or whatever I had lying around just to spread the paint on the paper and then upgrade to spreading the paint on the canvas and the first few pieces really didn't look good like at all it didn't matter though because it was fun the process was fun enough for me to continue and from then on I couldn't stop doing abstracts and these all these months until I started art school I painted maybe 20 30 canvases small ones big ones i didn't like whatever i could get my hands on and one day my brother would come by and he would say oh those look good and he was just moving into a new apartment and he said would you mind if i hang those at my place so he was basically my first collector <laughs> he made his new home 
almost like an art gallery completely exclusively with my first couple of paintings and that was such a huge confidence boost yeah I love that I love him so much for that <laughs> and then well yeah art school started and I created a lot more didn't have much time to create whatever I wanted to create because I had all these homeworks to do but I never stopped painting abstract in my style and just continued whenever I can. Yeah. Art school wasn't a super good experience for me, but I wouldn't miss it now thinking back. Um, but everything that happened after art school is what actually got me to where I am today. So the, the best thing I can say about art school is that it helped me verbalize my inner thought process, inner thought process, which is super, super crucial in uh, terms of being an artist and explaining what you're actually thinking about when creating a piece, because people want to know. So yeah, there you have it. That's how I got into painting and art. Life story. <laughs> Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.